Hi, it's a tech crowd here. Oh, I need to talk. Um, I'm just wondering if everybody's lost their minds and forgotten what a disaster the first gen uh, release was. It wasn't that long time ago. Uh, I mean, the NVIDIA marketing department must have been making huge bonuses right now. Absolutely over the top. I mean, the tech community really needs to get a grip of itself. You know, and not go head over heel for a vendor whose product isn't really out there in the real world um, and has no real, real world track record yet. So, I mean, I think chilling it would be a good idea. I mean, the availability of this thing is probably going to be extremely limited in the first month of its release. So, I mean, don't put your hopes up in getting a hold of one of these. I mean, <laughs> the recommended retail price uh, uh, now, uh, that, that you can just forget. I mean, if you look at the pent-up demand for this card, I mean, who would sell it for the recommended price when it goes through the channel channels? It's just I mean, some of these models, in all honesty, they cost more than, an average, than a mid-level gaming PC or even a next-gen console when they actually come out. And I mean, actually, this is one reason why NVIDIA is really pushing this this uh, release uh, and marketing it so viciously is that they're really scared that people are going to lose it, going to lose it, uh, and just go for consoles because the consoles will end up being cheaper. Uh, there's also the <coughs> rising risk of competition on the horizons. So they need to convince their shareholders that they're still worth something. So you know, competition possibly from AMD and, and Intel, you shouldn't ignore it. And people very much bash Intel for graphics, but I mean, it's basically the largest graphics technology producer on this planet, if you look at volumes. Not very interesting volumes, but still, it's everywhere. Uh, there will be, however, more for support for uh, ray tracing this time around, I think. Um, However, the you know Nvidia has been doing a lot of tricks and, and things that that have watered down the purest idea of ray tracing. So it's all using alternative methods which are faster. So when they run benchmarks and stuff and say they have faster ray tracing, oh well, that's not really comparing apples to apples. So they're implementing this artificial intelligence. I'm not saying that the technology is bad. I'm just saying that it's not not really ray tracing as one would um, would really want understand it. Also those looking for an upgrade, I mean you're probably going to have like uh, physical size, power needs definitely, heat generation, and possibly other technical issues will probably pop up that will make it difficult just to directly upgrade, just pull out your old card and put the new one in, especially if you're talking about the more high-end 3000 series mo models. Um, you know I really don't know what the tech community, tech enthusiasts, uh, you know, guys are doing, but, um, but I, I suppose they want to stay on the good side of um, Nvidia's bandwagon or stay on the Nvidia's bandwagon, so they don't get on that um, no demo card for you list. <laughs> anyway, I hope this rant is actually not going to turn out. I mean, I hope it'll be a good. I mean, I'm expecting the drivers to be pretty stable and good, so at least that would be a good point. So anyway, I just thought I'd put it out there as a bit of a dampener. I mean, it really, I mean, the amount of positive press that NVIDIA is getting just from side to side without actually having physical cards and ben benchmarks out there, it, it's, it's getting to be a, a bit ridiculous. But anyway, leave your own opinion in the comments. Um, you know, like, dislike, um, yeah, subscribe. I don't usually make rant videos, so, you know, back to normal production from now. Yeah, we'll see. Time will tell.